A sight to behold. A Texas community left in awe after a devastating fire burned down this church, except for that, a lone cross left standing in the rubble. Now, some of the church community say it's a sign God is truly there with them, even through the difficult times. The fire started as the church was undergoing some renovations. The exact cause is still under investigation, but thankfully, no one was hurt. Now, joining us now is Sonny Smith, pastor of that church, Balsora Baptist, and his wife, Lenita Smith. Pastor Smith and Lenita, thank you so much for being with us. Um, Pastor Smith, we know you had some teeth pulled recently, so maybe uh, Lenita will be speaking a little bit more for you, but thank you both for being oh. with us. What were you thinking when you heard about this fire and then, and then you see that there's this cross still standing there? Wow, well, the fire itself was heartbreaking to go there and find out that a church that had been there over 100 years had burned up. And so the first part was really devastating. But I'll tell you what, when we saw that cross standing there, it gave us hope and it lifted our spirits and, and let us know that Jesus is still with us. Yes. And that cross is used for something uh, pretty specific. Tell us what that cross was there, was there for. What yes. um, well, we, we put our prayer request on that cross and a church member had built that several months back. And uh, so we would, we would hang our prayer request on it. And then as we would have uh, our prayers answered, then, then we could see, you know, uh, what we had. And uh, so that was inside the sanctuary. And when we saw it, when we saw the roof go down and the smoldering still going on and that cross was still standing there it was just it was just amazing it was um me watching everything that i have you know being burned heartbreak on easter sunday on a day of celebration a pleasanton mother is in tears after her family's home burns down but out of the ashes stood a miracle Ken's 5 reporter Sarah Duran traveled to Pleasanton and found out what is now giving the family hope. Sierra Salazar and her family aren't spending Easter at home this year. They lost their Easter baskets. Flames burned down their house in Pleasanton a few days ago. My car caught fire and the wind was blowing north, so it went led to my porch and went from there. Triggering the smoke alarm. First thing I did was got all my family, the kids, my grandma, my mom, out of the house. The 10 year old is the one that called 911. For the next four hours, the family watched firefighters battle the flames. Salazar describes it as. Horrific. It was um, me watching everything that I have, you know, being burned. In a home that meant the world to her family, Salazar's late husband Juan bought the house two years before passing from cancer in 2019. It's all we had left of him. His last gift to the family. We weren't having to worry about having to pay rent. Now the once yellow house with green trim is covered in black ash. Taking a closer look at this house, the windows are completely busted out. The roof is a total mess, but check this out over this way. This cross remains untouched. My husband made that cross. I just know that he was with us, and his children, and him and the good Lord got us out safely. Friends, family, and the community are helping them move forward. She's grateful. I have received, you know, donations um, from Atascosa County, Wilson County, McMullen County, Bear County. Donations will be collected again on Monday. Items can be taken to Methodist Hospital, Atascosa, and Jordanton. As for what's next? Somehow clearing this out. Um, and, and buying a new home. In Pleasanton, Sarah Duran, Ken's Five. In Wise County, a century old church burning down on yesterday. That fire leaving nothing standing but the wood cross you can see right in front of that plume of smoke. No one was inside the Balsora Baptist Church at the time, but a few first responders sustained minor injuries. They are still trying to determine exactly how that fire started. Our Nick Starling with more from that pastor of the church. Now, right over here is where it started. And uh, it's just unbelievable the damage and carnage that it did to the building. Pastor Sonny Smith can't believe what he's looking at. It's a lot of memories, a lot of heartbreak. In the rubble of bricks and wood is this piano. Played for us each week, was right there. But what survived 
stacks of charred Bibles and a cross. That cross is where we would get a little piece of paper with the string and everyone put all their family members and different ones we wanted to pray for and we hung them on that cross and it is an absolute miracle that that cross made it through the fire when nothing else did. The Balsora Baptist Church has been in this community since the year 1900, over 120 years. Smith says they were doing some renovation work to the fellowship hall to expand the kitchen. On Friday, when crews left for lunch, that's when the fire took down this church. When they came back, the fire was going and they tried their best to get it out, but they just couldn't get it out. The Wise County Fire Marshal says there were a couple minor heat-related injuries and one other hurt from falling debris. Smith says the church has insurance and is confident this church will rise out of the ashes. We know that the next chapter is going to be great for Bowser Baptist Church because we know the author, and we're trusting in him, and we know he's going to carry us through. In Balsora, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. Well, a glimmer of hope this morning in the aftermath of that massive inferno that damaged the beloved Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. The towering fire is now extinguished, and amazingly, some of the interior of the structure withstood these flames, including one of the most priceless relics, the crown of thorns, believed to have been placed on Jesus' head at the crucifixion and a cross there at the altar. Bibles and crosses go untouched in a fire that destroyed a West Virginia church. The Coal City Fire Department said they made the discoveries on Sunday while searching through the rubble at Freedom Ministries Church in Grandview. On Facebook, the fire department wrote, Picture this, a building so hot that at one point in time firefighters had to back out. In your mind, everything should be burned, ashes. Not a single Bible was burned and not a single cross was harmed. Not a single firefighter was hurt. The department did not say if there's another explanation. No injuries were reported. And we begin with this, jumping from roof to roof, a man's wild attempt to get away after climbing to the top of a church and then setting a fire. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. I'm Kathy Vara. Chuck is off tonight. Let's get right to NBC4's Darsha Phillips live in Boyle Heights with more on uh, what is really a bizarre situation and how it all ended. Darsha. Well, Kathy, Colleen, this was definitely a wild scene here in Boyle Heights. A man climbing to the top of St. Mary's Church, and you can see just how high it is. He climbed to the very top of that roof behind me, and he tried to light it on fire. He tried to light the cross or possibly the roof on fire. You are looking at video from News Chopper Alpha from earlier this evening. It all started just before 8.30 p.m., and thankfully that fire did not take it kind of extinguished, even though he was able to get it started in the beginning. But things just continued to escalate from there. The man, only wearing boxer shorts, began jumping from roof to roof and then started using the telephone wires or cable wires to scale buildings and move on to the roofs of other buildings. His behavior just continued to get even more bizarre and more concerning. At one point, it appears he tried to open the window to a home. Fortunately, he couldn't do that, and then he just continued to try and scale these buildings. And as you can imagine, all of this drew quite a crowd, many people gathering, wondering and watching what he was going to do next. This is where the bell is, and where the bell is actually, um, it lit on fire, and when it did light on fire, uh, there was smoke, but he couldn't light it on fire, so he went to the other side where the cross was, and he tried to light that on fire and actually kicked it a few times. Now, LAPD did finally take that man into custody. He was handcuffed and will likely face several charges after this incident. But thankfully, it all ended the way it did. No one getting hurt and no serious damage, it appears, uh, being done to the church or any of the surrounding buildings.